the burnt egg roll. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the like recent quote unquote uptick in crimes against Asian Americans or Asians? It's it's hard, right? I mean, for me, it's it's great to finally see uh, some recognition of the racism that Asians face because anybody who's Asian knows that like we've all been called stuff over the years like made fun of like you know there's like the stereotypes about like convenience stores and, and dry cleaners and, and uh, you know eating dogs or like you name it dude like it's just like an endless <laughs> endless kind of list and, and it seems like you know there's less of an understanding of asian cultures and then we all get lumped all together all the time which is incredibly offensive um so it, it's it's great and refreshing to finally really see people like really talking about it and, and educating and talking to each other but like i don't know you know we got into this a little bit earlier like what is the actual you know, it, maybe, I don't want to call it an overreaction, but it's like people are having a re reaction that it's a hate crime before, like, to me, it seems like before it's confirmed whether it was an actual hate crime sometimes. So. Yeah, that's what they were saying about the shooter guy, right? Like, he uh, wasn't really targeting him because they're Asian. He just was sexually frustrated, right? Yeah, yeah, he was sexually frustrated. But then it gets into the whole, you know, not only the racism, but the misogynistic views too against Asian women, like, you know, cause even like Asian women compared to Asian men got their whole thing where like, you know, there's all sorts of like creepy dudes that just kind of fetishize Asian women too. Right. So they got to deal with that. So that's like, it's whole, whole other thing. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. You're right, because it wasn't confirmed. Maybe it was just, and I don't, you know, some people want to, like, do, like, this whole subconscious thing and say, like, you know, his behavior and what he did, like, came from, like, you know, he was absorbing what was happening in our culture overall and, you know, the rise of hate and racism mm -hmm. and alt-right views that appears to be occurring. But, again, I don't know how much stock I take in that either. Like, maybe like Trump provided them more of a voice, but I, I'm also like, you know, I think these people were always here. He was wearing a Carhartt jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no racist, no racist. Just saying. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of proud boys, I think rock Carhartt. Yeah. But there's some brothers that rock Carhartt too, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. just a stereotype too. But yeah, I feel, I feel what you're saying though. Double O-T.